Back from college break to have nothing. I'm so proud of my daughter for this. Long story though, sorry. My daughter 19F had a group of high school friends for years, fast forward freshman year college and her new roommate becomes part of the friend group. I was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer the same day she started classes that year. And as the year goes on her relationship with some of these friends starts to have problems but the roommate still seems solid so they sign a lease for sophomore year. By the beginning of sophomore year all of her high school friends have turned on my daughter and she's struggling to figure out why. By the end of September she finds out the roommate has been playing both sides of the fence and has ultimately sided with my daughter's old friends and continues to see them regularly. This of course creates a nasty living situation for my daughter but she does her best to manage through. As time goes on I come to find out that her friends turned on her because they felt that her emotional needs were toxic for them to be around. My daughter was having panic attacks about my cancer and other normal things and was reaching out to her friends for someone to talk to and they couldn't handle it. A few weeks ago the roommate invited two of these friends to stay over. My daughter asked that they pick another time as she had work and then an all-nighter ahead of her finishing her finals and she didn't want to be in the apartment if they were going to be. The roommate ignored this request. My daughter walked into them being there after work and had a panic attack. The roommate looked at her and said see, this is why you have no friends when you behave like this. What do you expect? This week my daughter managed to find a way to move out before the roommate came back from break. The couch, the coffee table, the rug, the pots and pan, the dishes, the shower curtain, on and on, all of it was my daughter's. The internet, the electric, the water all in my daughter's name. She took everything, moved out and left the roommate to come back from break with none of it working and all of the shared space items gone. And left her a note signed what did you expect? Oh I wish I could be a fly on the wall when she walks in. Edit update just saying thank you to everyone for the love and support. Wow you guys are great. I don't know that there will be an update as my daughter specifically asked the roommate to not contact her unless it involves the lease, so we will see. Much love. Best wishes for your own struggle with the big C. Your daughter needs support who wouldn't at a time like this? What sort of friends don't understand? I wish she find new friends that are there for her, and she for them when they need it and they will. Seems to me that friends from our youth are not the friends they used to be fair weather friends, not real friends. Or is that just in the first world? What about the lease? How did she manage to get out of that? You raised your daughter well, kudos to you. And prayers for your battle against cancer. As for your daughter's former roommate and her so-called friends, they better be lucky they didn't get a Jerry Springer style beat down. So sorry about your cancer diagnosis. But please if you find out what happens tell us. All the very best. Hope you f k cancer. And your daughter is a champion. Really shit friends if they left her because she's upset about your cancer. I'm assuming they know you, too, being high school friends? Real friends really at a time like that. This is why I come to this sub. Kudos to your daughter God, I do not miss that phase in life good for her and best of luck to you both. I wish you and your daughter all the best. I hope you beat the nasty, big C, and that your daughter continues with her shiny, shiny, spine. I'd also love an update, as to how the ex-friend and roommate reacted when they came back to. I think. Does your daughter regularly have panic attacks? If she has a panic disorder, supportive friends or no, it might be a good idea to suggest she seek treatment. I'm with you I'd love to see the fallout. High five to your daughter. I am so sorry you and your daughter are going through this. My mother died of cancer the beginning of my sophomore year of college and I lost a lot of friends too. I came to realize they couldn't handle it but at least they didn't trash me. That was the hardest time of my life but since then, whenever I have had really hard times, I have been able to tell myself, this may be bad, but it's not as bad as that time was. There is a solace in that. Hopefully your daughter can have that knowledge and her mom too.
What did you expect? Chef's kiss. The pots and pan. I like that, in addition to this being solid petty revenge, it's an absolute toss-up between this being a typo and there just being a pan for two college kids. Sometimes I miss being young, and other times I'm glad I have pans and dishes. You raised her right. Hope you are doing better as well. If I could upvote this more than once, I would hope you and your daughter are doing okay now my final straw with roommates was B. C. They were gross pigs who would never clean anything, would never take the trash out, and were loud and obnoxious all the time. They were also not happy when I moved out and took all my furniture and kitchen stuff. Rolling on the floor laughing when I had come back to hang out one day, all they had to sit on in the living room was one of those plastic inflatable chairs. Time wounds all. It may take decades, but eventually these children will learn that everyone needs support now and then. If karma works the way it usually does, they will learn that support is hard to find when they need it. I wish you and your daughter good health, happiness, and may all wounds be healed. What a badass move. Just had to say. Hugs to both you and your daughter. Sending you healing thoughts and you go beat cancers but. Your daughter is amazing to be in college and trying to be supportive of you all at the same time. My senior year at university had me transferring to a university at home after three years away studying so I could help care for both my mom and dad who took turns being in hospital that year. This is not an easy time for either of you but, you and your daughter will find strength together. Those aren't friends, if they were they would be supporting her through this hard time not treating her like a burden. Your going through cancer is devastating to your daughter. Glad she took all her things while her nasty roommate was away, karma served well. Good luck with your battle, cancer sucks it from experience. Nope, they were never true friends to your daughter. JFC Mean Girls College Edition How awful props to your daughter for handling it like a boss. I'm sorry about your diagnosis. I'm a stage IIICBC survivor 12 years out. I tell people learning about a cancer diagnosis is like having to learn a new language, one you never wanted to learn about, and without a teacher there's lots of online support groups though and I really connected with one in particular. Best to you on your journey. Very sorry about your battle with cancer but hoping you will beat it. What a smart woman you have reared in that she found a way to get out of that toxic situation without any loss to herself as applies to funds, credit, etc. Bonus on providing her former friend roommate the ability to experience reaping what she sowed. She knows her worth and will in time find true friends that are worthy of her time and support each other. Is being straight up evil rude to each other common with college age women? I made one of my better friends because we let her move in with us after her college roommate's 18-20 year old women started alienating her and ultimately trashed her room while she was at home on a college break. They poured water on her bed and ripped the posters off of her walls. I understand I didn't get to hear the roommate's perspective, but I do know she was an excellent roommate and is a good friend to this day. Dang. The only thing that would have made this better is if your daughter helped herself back into the apartment and took back that note too. Because, you know, what did the roommate expect? Also, F cancer. I hope you feel better soon. Good for her. Update us. Sounds like your daughter would be an amazing person to be friends with it sincerely their loss if they can't show the slightest shred of sympathy toward her, let alone respect a simple request of no one in our shared living space for one night. All the very best. I hope you overcome cancer and I hope your daughter makes some real friends. That is the 4D chess of petty revenge. I commend you both. Ha huh, nice. Good job. I hope the best for you in your fight with the sea. Your daughter is young and in time will find true friends who will be there through all the storms. The amazing thing is, you know your daughter is doing okay. You don't have to worry about her. You focus on yourself and get through this.